Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jance Hall. This is my basic journey. And for the last two years, I've been living out of my minivan and traveling around the US. But I just recently upgraded to this bigger, newer van. This is a Chevy Express high top. I showed you guys a couple weeks ago in a video. You can definitely go check that out if you want to see more of it. But I have been procrastinating <laughs> starting this build for a couple of weeks now, and I think that I'm just getting very overwhelmed thinking about it. I figured I could just start with little baby steps and just kind of work through it like that, because when I think of all of the things that I have to do, I get very overwhelmed and stressed out. And so I just have my handy dandy screwdriver here, and we're just going to go around and take out all of the screws that I see on everything <laughs> and uh, that's gonna be what I'm doing today as you can see just from looking around a little bit there are a lot of screws just everywhere and so I'm just gonna go around and collect them I already started by taking off that <laughs> um, it's up there now and so we're just gonna take out as many as we can we're just gonna start with this guy up here cuz he's right here and I'm just going around and like saving all these. I figured I'll need these screws eventually, so I'm just saving them all in a pile for now. That way I don't have to buy as many later. Look at me with power tools. thing off of here. Oh. I got it. Alright. So you guys see there's like nothing under here. And this is where the vents were and there's no tubing or anything so cool you can just like rip this down here i'm gonna bring you guys over here with me giant bouncy ball <laughs> I have no idea why it was behind the DVD player but I now have a giant pink bouncy ball I think Joey will like it more than I will but cool <laughs> I think a kid was probably shoving things down here I found a minions thermos <laughs> what else is in here All right, it's official. We took the DVD player out. 
I don't know why I thought the things with wires was going to be hard, but it was very easy to take that out. And the wire just came right out and those plugged into it. First speaker down. I got it. Oh, I see. I see what's happening. Oh, okay, hold on. So, found out that this thing is actually part of the window shade, and then there's actually screws underneath it. So, we're just gonna take those right out. Okay, so I was able to get this little windowsill area that had the cup holders and stuff in it off. Um, so now I'm gonna take this thing off because the blinds are attached to this, and uh, I'm ready to just get rid of those guys. But surely, getting everything out of here. <laughs> okay, honestly, I really should be labeling these wires. So I'm gonna go grab some tape and a pen, and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I've got some masking tape and a Sharpie. And I'm just going to write what each of these wires are for, so that way, I don't know, Dave knows what to do. He's the person who's going to be helping me with a lot of the things, including the electrical stuff. And so I figured this would just be helpful for him. I don't even know if he needs me to do this, but the old noggin is telling me to do this. So we're going to label all the wires. getting some of the wall off now so it is really starting to look like a renovation in here I have my fiberglass roof showing some insulation popping out there we have some metal exposed we're doing good we're doing good and look at my pile I am really proud of all of this right now we're doing good we're doing good let's keep it moving I'm gonna get these things out now. There's like some screws up here on the ceiling. Try to take down the ceiling thing. All right, let's get it done. We're doing good, guys. Just need to find the screws on this guy. What is keeping him up? There he is. So I got all the screws in here that I would need to take this part down. Unfortunately, it's attached to the TV section, so I have to take the TV out before I can take these parts out. So let's go do that. All right, we can see all the screws nicely here. Pokey nails on it though, so I gotta be careful. 
Yeah! I feel like we're really getting somewhere now. You know? Cool! Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. Woo what next? Hey guys, it's the next day, but um, I'm in here for like two minutes and already find somebody's secret snack stash. <laughs> it's like just a bunch of chips. <laughs> yeah. Never know what you're going to find in these things. All right, here we go. Time to continue taking these walls down, getting everything out of here. So I'm almost done taking this wall out and all I have left is this fuse box here. It did have a cover on it, fuse box, took that off, just need to get the rest of those screws now. And then we can take this bad boy out of here. And then you just disconnect these things and you're good to go. Well, I got a big chunk of it off. Let's keep going. This part's harder because it's like snug in the side here. Yay. Okay, the wall is officially off. So really all we have left now is this upper and then the ceiling and then I guess like I don't know, whatever is left in this TV thing, and then whatever, like this little platform here is gonna go to. Yay, we're almost done. Okay, so for this thing, it's not as easy as the other side because the screws are underneath all this fabric. So I have to rip this fabric off first to get to the screw that's underneath it. It has gotten pretty gray and rainy here. Classic spring weather in Illinois. I'm getting ready to take some of this stuff out of here to make more room. I'm gonna keep some of this wood though because like this is still in really good condition. And with the price of lumber these days, I can use all the help I can get. So I'm gonna keep these and maybe some of the other bigger ones. But yeah, I have my trash can. I'm just gonna go through, clean some of this out. So I now have three piles going. This is obviously trash. Anything small that I couldn't save that would fit in there. This is mostly like stuff that I uh, couldn't save or things I'm gonna try and get rid of. Like I'm gonna try and find somebody who wants that DVD player or the TV or the shades and then the rest is just too big to fit in the trash. But other than that, we have it all cleaned out in here. I do have my TV still up there. I have to get that one roof panel off and then the back there where that storage cubby is I need to clean that out but other than that we got all of the walls and all of the bits and bobs off all the screws out yay let's get those things out of there though <laughs> So much 
much more room. It's so crazy. It's amazing. Oh, and this one has the TV in it. And I think I might have to take the roof, the ceiling out first. Or maybe not. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. I'm not really sure how to get this out of here. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. We're getting somewhere. Let me see where the cords are that I'll have to. I don't know how to get this the cords out of here. They don't just pull out. And I don't want to break it. Okay, so here's behind the TV. I found the things that unplug. And then there's this guy, but he has, where did those go? Oh, here it is. These. So these just unplug here. And then these, and I think those are the only ones. Sweet. I think that is it. There's one more. Speakers, probably. Oh, and that one just pulled right out. There was this, like, red cord, which I'm guessing is speakers. And that just pulled right out of there. Well, you can see my ceiling fall down because this is holding it up. Yay! All right. Today is a new day, and uh, we're taking a little break from demo, and I'm at the mechanic right now. I'm just gonna have them do like an overall inspection on everything and to take a look at the air conditioning and tell me how much it's gonna be to fix that. So here we are. I'll fill you guys in when I get the news back on if anything's wrong with it. Yeah, just keeping you guys informed, keeping you in the loop, you know? <sighs> All right, catch up with you in a bit. We are back in the van and I am so ready to get this demo done. Um, a little update on what the mechanic said before I get into this. Um, he told me that I need to replace my power steering pump. Um, the AC wasn't working as cold as I wanted it to and so there's that. Uh, but other than that, it's kind of like just cosmetic things. So the door on this side doesn't open from the inside. Don't know what that's about, but I'm gonna try and find YouTube videos on how to fix that myself because I feel like that's something I could probably do. Um, also, oil pan gasket, which is something, again, when I get an oil change, maybe I'll just have Dave show me how to do that so I can do it for myself in the future. And while he's doing that, I'll have him get me a new gasket on there. But other than that, it, he said it looked really good. So that's very good news. Um, so the only thing that I'm going to get done is the AC and the power steering pump. Very exciting. <laughs> All right, let's get the ceiling out of here. And then we're going to be done taking everything out of the back. So... Yay, let's get this done. First, we're gonna start by taking off all these things. They're just the plastic casings around the lights, and then there's screws under here. Got my handy dandy screwdriver. Just gonna take those out, and then we should be able to just pull this thing out of here. Let's do it. Well, I got it. Oh, see up here. Oh, buddy. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's just attached by those lights. And so I just need to disconnect the cords and then I can pull this out of here. All right, you guys, besides some hanging wires, we officially have everything out of here, including this roof piece. It's a lot heavier than it looks, honestly. Um, yeah, we got everything out. The only thing that's left is like this metal tray that you guys are kind of sitting on right now. That's just a couple screws and that's it. And then we're done. 
So let me finish getting the rest out of here and cleaning it up. And then I can show you guys what it looks like when it's completely empty in here. Yay! Oh, this is so exciting. All right, guys, look at this empty van. Besides, like, the things that I didn't want to throw away, so that TV and the DVD player I'm going to try and sell. But besides that, and the wiring, some of the insulation that I wanted to keep, and then some things that required more than a screwdriver, like... These have pretty big bolts on them that I'm going to have to get off, but besides that, it's empty. We're done. Demo is complete. It did take me a bit longer than I planned on because the weather was just not cooperative, but here we are. Next week, I'm going to be trying to put a fan in, and Dave's going to help me with the wiring, so we're going to take all the old wiring out and put new wiring in. Yay! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!